Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 1984 Ferrari 288 GTO. Now this has 914 horsepower, 615 pounds feet of torque from a 4.5 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine and the vehicle itself now weighs 2,604 pounds. Now has all wheel drive and it can do 0 60 in 2.694 seconds and 0 to 105.394 seconds. So, yeah, it's not got all that much power in comparison to other vehicles on the series, but the fact it doesn't weigh very much, coupled with the all wheel drive keeping that power in check, should hopefully help. And crucially, it is more than twice the power it had originally, while weighing very little as well. And uh, yeah, it's fairly aer aerodynamic, it's not got any big spoilers or splitters that are going to hinder it. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of hopeful that this will be quick, but although, uh, yeah, considering the lack of uh, horsepower, probably not going to be the quickest. So, uh, yeah, nonetheless, let's get out there and see what he can do. Got really rather good acceleration, even if we're not going to get the highest of top speeds. And being a uh, 458 engine, it sounds glorious for this tunnel. There's 255, there's 260, 261, 263, 264, 265. Briefly hit 266 a couple of times there, but I don't think it was enough to really uh, count, to be honest. It only blipped. It didn't hold it like it did at 265, but then nonetheless, 265 is still really, really rather good. It's faster than some more modern mid-engine uh, cars uh, that we've had out on this series. So let's see if we can get any more of that than that on this side of the motorway. If not, hopefully the other side. It's going to be the other side then. Because we've run out of road and also hit a Land Rover in the back. does have a fair bit of understeer at the lower speeds but it seems to uh, mostly go away the uh, higher we go. So that's all the more reason to go quick then. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have quite the amount of torque that would need to be able to uh, increase in speed rapidly when we're above a high rate of speed, really. And I've hit the gantry there. Yeah, that's one big problem we've found with cars. That might have a fair decent amount of horsepower, but when the torque is way down, when it comes to any hill sections or even a gradient or just getting past the 240, 250 mile an hour barrier, they seem to struggle. It's not just an engine like this, it's V10s have suffered from that as well. So, uh, yeah, it is a kind of a shame, really, because, yeah, more than a 900 horsepower, it should be able to go a fair bit quicker than this, but alas. Traffic and lack of torque are getting in the way. Understeer isn't helping either because we would have made it round both of those cars if we had a bit more uh, traction. Still, sounds glorious in a tunnel and uh, yeah, got huge amounts of acceleration uh, to uh, start with. First 200 mile an hour or so, this car is a blitzer in terms of acceleration. But nonetheless, 265 mile an hour is still really rather good. Not gonna uh, cut, uh, put my uh, nose up against that, especially since it's managed to match a Porsche Carrera GT, which uh, you know is from 2003. It's nearly 20 years younger than this car. It's also managed to beat the TVR Griffith, Lotus Elise GT1, Jaguar Lightweight E-Type, TVR Cerberus B12, TVR Tuscan S, Ferrari F50 GT, and the Noble M600. While it's slightly behind the Cayman GTS, the Nissan Silvia K0, Nissan R390 and the Vauxhall VX220 Turbo, but nonetheless it is still a really rather good uh, top speed. And uh, yeah, 
outside of low under low speed understeer, this car handles really well over well as well. And uh, yeah, sounds glorious in a tunnel and has really good acceleration, at least up into 200 mile an hour. So it's a shame it really doesn't have the torque to really keep itself accelerating at the same kind of rate. Once we're getting past 230, 240 mile an hour, it does quite slow down quite a fair bit. But yeah, still a glorious car, and it's easily one of my favourite Ferraris of all time in stock form. So uh, yeah, if you've never given it a try, give it a shot. Because yeah, it's old, but yeah, it's still got nearly, nearly 400 horsepower in stock form, and uh, yeah, hardly a slouch. Nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye.